Jesse, you just got signed to Golden Boy Promotions. I know, finally. Finally he's back on track. <laughs> what, is, what does Golden Boy have on their hands here now? Fucking great champion. They have a future champion waiting for them. You sparred him before? Yeah, we're in the spot today. Uh-oh. How does, how does that spar, man? It's good. It's evil. What's his best attribute, man? His best skill, his best skill for the fans out there that don't know many? I can't give that out. You know? <laughs> everybody's going to know. <laughs> yeah. See? That's for yourself, man. What's next? What's your timeline, man? Um, I hear April. April's what's coming next, and uh, that's what we're getting ready for. And, um, you know, we're just taking our time. I know we got we got a good camp uh, waiting for us, and uh, I'm excited to get back in the ring. Man, it seems like you and Onito are now together forever, man. You guys are going back and forth since your last since your fight. You guys went at it through Instagram. What's behind that, man? It says that you're taking a different route. I, th I, th I think he's just uh, he's just being a sore loser, you know? Because yeah. I'm not I'm not uh, applying to his uh, applying to uh, what, what he wants, you know? He wants a rematch, and I don't have to give him a rematch right now. I can give him a rematch whenever I feel like it. Yeah. And um, you know, he's um, he just he, he that's what he wants. And, Right now, I don't. I don't have to feel like I have to cater to him. I don't have to cater to him. I'm more champion. I'm the one who gets to uh, to uh, make the calls and and do uh, and go and fight whoever I want to fight, just like how he did. You know, he made me wait a year and a half to fight him, and that's what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm, I'm gonna give my time and I'm gonna enjoy my belt and I'm gonna enjoy uh, my my upcoming wins. And what, what do you make of him, man? Like as a fighter, where does he really stand right now? Um, a lot of people felt that he was done when he was going to fight you. It was a great close fight that you guys had, but where is he at now? What would you say his career is at? Honestly, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what his management team has for him, but I, I feel like he's just, he's just trying to reach out and start up anything that he can just to uh, make some noise. Because maybe his career is going downhill, and maybe this is the time for him to hang it up. But um, I don't know. As far as uh, as far as uh, him getting back in the ring, I mean, there's there's plenty of potential young, you know, young hungry guys that he could that he could fight and uh, you know set back in the uh, set back up on the ladder game. Uh, in your division, man, there's a couple of names. The most noted one is the Cuban Guillermo Rigondo. How do you feel about him and possibly fighting him one day, man? I love to fight him. You know, a lot of people are afraid to to, to fight a, a technical guy like that, but um, you know, I'm technical as well. I move. I you know, I I have the, the a similar style and. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like that'd be a great matchup one day, where, where we could both meet in the ring and uh, get our uh, get a contract signed uh, to make that happen.